This is one of the reasons why it has to be welded with the axle on the ground or on jack stands for the trunk. Because there's over about three-eighths of an inch or more play. Once I lower it to the ground, put it on the jack stands, the weight of the car will bring this gap and close it. And I can start taking tech screws, self tappers, and putting them all around so I can start welding this. I'm going to get this trunk in so I can do the uh, subframe connectors on it. I'm going to make homemade subframe connectors on my 71 charger. As you can see, the gap has closed significantly. Now I can start tacking it all up and welding it in. Okay, all screwed down with the uh, self tappers in all the critical areas, all up in the front up there, all through here to the back uh, member there. This is the last piece here coming out to here. All nice and tight. This will be tightened up afterwards. This will get put in after I get it all. We're going to start out in the wheel well first. We'll get both wheel wells done. Look at them. Get them welded on. I've already test fitted the uh, drop offs, one on that side. And one over here, pass it on to make sure they fit correctly. The little silver marks are where the uh, bracket goes to hold the uh, gas tank. That will be welded later on. Everything's got copper coat wherever it's going to be welded, so it's going to be protected. After this is done, I could put the subframe connectors on. That will be the next thing I'm going to do. After I'm done putting the main pan in, the two drop-offs, I'll put the uh, subframe on, and then I'll just uh, take it all the rest of it apart, the rear end, the springs, the front end, all that off. Doors will come off. I might make bars to support it, I don't know. I was thinking about it. And I'll put it on the rotisserie. I'll continue to weld, plug weld along as I'm going. Moving the weld, moving the clamps around as I go. Get into this one right here. Try not to make any holes, but still weld hot enough so it will go in pretty good. Once I get the whole thing done, I'll grind it down. The uh, backs are a little angle grinder. Kick ass little tool works pretty good. So move the wire around so I can see that. Just try not to make any holes. I'll continue all the way around like that, and then I'll grind it down, and that's how the rest of it's going to look when it gets done. Like I said, they don't have to be pretty. That little bit here got got away from me, not a problem. But they're nice and hot. They're going to be very strong. They get a choice. You can use this guy here to get into most. This is a 3M weld grinding stone, specially made. You can use it mostly, it's good for curves, inside of curves. I like it because it gets in there pretty good. But 9 out of 10 times flat, 
in here. These three inch discs, green. I can't remember exactly, might be a 3M. But the, the Baxter grinder, Harbor Freight, kicks ass. These are hard welds. These make make welds are pretty hard. That makes quick work out of them. No problem at all. I'll do all of them like that. Once it's painted, once it's, um, if I do use uh, undercoat on it, I may not. Whatever, you will never even notice it. This is where the 3M grinding wheel really shines, right inside these curves. It's in there. It levels that plug weld noise. They can get these three out of the way. <laughs> This is how it looks after it's been ground down. The welds are nice and smoothed out. And in order to save this for now, because I'm not going to get stacked, this would be on the other side. I got to do the other side. I got to do the rest of the plug welds, the rest of the trunk, underneath the package shell, and so on. Keep it from going and getting rusty as I work on it. Or just it up with some self-etching primer. And that'll keep it from rusting until I get to the rest of it. Now I can just put the uh, rest of the welds in for the pan, put the drop-offs on, and then after that's done, we're going to go with the uh, subframe connectors. I want to put this car on all four wheels when I do the subframe connectors. Doors closed, uh, the axles attached, the K members attached, all the stresses are there. So I can weld the, uh, the, the um, subframe connectors. There'll be, there won't be any twist induced or any, if I put it on a rotisserie, there won't be any twist. Nothing will move. So this will be all welded solid and we'll get to the subframe connectors. Thanks for watching.